Hello and welcome everyone. It's our pleasure today to introduce to you the newest member of the Ridley Gravel family, the Canzo Fast. I'm sitting here today with product manager from Ridley, Bert. Welcome, Bert. Thank you, Lauren. We are very, very happy and proud to be able to share with you finally our newest aero gravel project. An aero gravel bike, why a third gravel bike for Ridley? Just like on the road range, where you see that different riders are looking for a different bike, like an aero bike for sprinters or a climber's bike for climbers, we see also in the gravel range that different riders are looking for different type of bike. Last year, we already introduced the Kanzo Adventure for the rider who's looking to go out for an adventure, to go out for bike packing. He is in general looking for a bike with a wider tire clearance, 45 millimeter to 47 millimeter. He's looking for a frame and fork with a lot of mounting points and also the option to ride, if possible, with 650B wheels. For the rider who is discovering the gravel segment, but also wants to ride on normal roads regularly, we already have the council speed in our range, which is the perfect all-round gravel bike. With its 36 millimeter tire clearance, its gravel geometry, its comfort, it's the perfect bike to combine both disciplines. And today, we are happy to add the Cancer Fast to our gravel family. It's the first real aero developed gravel bike on the market. It's a really gravel machine. It's ready to attack all the Strava segments in your region. Because ultimately, that's what we all want. We all want to ride faster whether it is in a real gravel race, like the Dirty Kansa, or on your Sunday morning ride, where you just want to sprint out your friends to be first at the coffee bar. And Ridley already has a lot of experience in developing fast bikes. The Noah Fast comes to mind. Yes, indeed. The Noah Fast and this new Kansa Fast, they are almost twin brothers. We used the aero knowledge that we've built up during the development of the previous NOAA bikes and specifically the NOAA Fast, the fastest bike in the Pro Peloton. Well, I'm really excited to show you all the new Ridley Canzo Fast. So I'm going to head over as quickly as I can now to the Ridley Design Studio and meet with Ben from Sales in the UK. So welcome in the Ridley Design Studio. Finally, the moment we've been waiting for, a closer look at the Ridley Canzo Fast. I'm now joined by Ben from the UK office. Welcome, Ben. Thank you very much, Lauren. Um, now, I'm just going to talk you through the three main things that make this bike completely unique. Um, first of all, we've got the handlebar. We've got the aero uh, features all over the bike. And then we've finally got the gravel characteristics that really make this bike a purebred gravel machine. Okay, Ben, well, why don't we start with the handlebars because they look pretty special. Yeah, and they, they are. So these handlebars have been designed and they're completely unique to this bike. Um, we know from our extensive uh, experience with the wind tunnel that the front of the bike and the cockpit is the most crucial in terms of aerodynamics. So we really did spend a lot of time developing this and put a lot of time into it. You'll notice that the profile of the bars actually is shared with the NOAA fast bars, uh, but we've made a few changes. So we've made the reach shorter, the drop shallower, and we've also added a flare onto the bike. The reach is 75 mil down to 70, so that's a 5 mil change, and then the drop goes from 130 to 120. The flare on it is 16 degrees. Really, all this works together to make a, a bar that's comfortable, uh, stable, 
and great for those off-road segments, uh, but also still offering you that aerodynamic advantage. So I can see there are no cables, they're completely integrated, mm -hmm. and we have the, the aerospaces here, yep. which looks like the NOAA Fast. Have they been borrowed from the NOAA? Yeah, so uh, again, we, we know that the front of the bike is most crucial when it comes to, to aerodynamics, um, but the integration from the cockpit down into the frame has allowed us to control the airflow from as soon as the uh, air hits the bike. Now, we did this by using our F-steerer technologies, and that's a steerer tube shaped in a D. That allows us to guide the cables through the stem down into the frame. Basically, this is the biggest aerodynamic gain we could have made. Next, you look at the, integrate, the seamless integration of the uh, forks into the down tube here, and then the steerer into the top tube. Um, and these three points, the handlebar, the steerer, and the uh, fork into the down tube, are the three points we can make the most difference when it comes to aerodynamics when looking to design the bike. Next, we've got the uh, F-wings down here at the bottom of the fork. These help to divert the flow of air around the front hub and just stop any turbulence there. Next, if we were to look at tube profiles in a bit more depth, we have used the same tube profiles as the NOAA Fast, which is the truncated NACA profile tubes, and we use this all over the bike. So from the front, we can see that we use it, if you were to take a cut out of the whole bike, the forks, the head tube, the steerer, obviously the down tube, the seat tube, the seat post, and then also the rear stays. So moving back along the bike, you can see we've also um, introduced a cutout out of the seat tube. Now what this does is it protects the rear wheel uh, from any turbulence, any airflow, any wind, but also does uh, another thing, it protects you, the rider, from any mud or any spray coming up off of that back wheel. So I guess the next big question, Ben, is how aerodynamic is the Kanzo Fast? Uh, that's a good question, and one that we did actually look into in some depth. We took the Canzo Fast to the uh, Flanders Bike Valley wind tunnel, and there we conducted a few tests. We took the Canzo Fast, we took the Noah Fast, and we also took the Canzo Adventure. We used the same three wheels on all of them, and then we tested one against the other. So the Canzo Fast is actually nearly as aerodynamic as the NOAA Fast, which was great. Then we did a test against the Kanzo Adventure, and the Kanzo Fast came up 15% more aerodynamic, which is 17 watts, which is massive. So we really did succeed in making an aerodynamic bike here. Speaking of the NOAA Fast and aerodynamics, some of the you know, viewers watching might be thinking, well, is the Kanzo Fast just the NOAA Fast, but with thicker tires? Uh, no, it's absolutely not. It is its own bike and it's its own gravel machine, more importantly. Um, that being said, it has a great gravel pedigree and that comes from our bike, the Kanzo Speed, which we released quite a few years ago and was our first gravel bike. When you compare the Kanzo Fast geometry against the Noah Fast, which has our classic road geometry, we've got a much lower bottom bracket, we've got a much uh, higher stack, and then a shorter reach as well. And all this is going to offer a much more stable ride off-road and also comfortable ride off-road. Speaking of which, in terms of comfort, we haven't forgotten that at all. And at the back of the bike, you'll see here that we've added lower stays onto there and also a curvature in the rear chainstay, which is really going to soak up a lot of that road vibration coming up through the back of the bike. Also, with the D-shaped seat post, we've added in more absorption of vibration, and then that working in tandem with the fact that the bike can take 42 mil tires really does give us the best uh, comparison of speed versus grip versus comfort. Okay, awesome. Well, in summary, I guess the takeaway points for people listening to this is that one, we have the aerodynamic handlebars, yep. two, the aerodynamic features, and then thirdly, just the general features of a great gravel bike, which is the geometry and the comfort factor. Not Absolutely. to mention, this is a beautiful looking bike. It is that, it is that. And furthermore, I just, you know, I've been looking at the bike and I noticed there's no front derailleur, Ben. 
Yeah, that's absolutely right. Um, when we consider the gravel market as a whole, we really see that one by systems are becoming much more prevalent. Um, and those manufacturers of the one by group sets are developing them at such a rate that means that the simplicity of shifting and other advantages are massively outweighing any disadvantages. Um, we all know as well, a one by system is much more error than a two by system. And then now is a really good time for me to point out that the Kanzo Fast is the first bike that's compatible and comes supplied with the classified shifting system. What this shifting system does is it takes the functionality of the front mech uh, and its shifting capabilities from inner to outer and vice versa, integrates that into the rear hub, and it'll also shift in a fraction of a second and under full load. But I'm sure Matthias from Classified will tell you all about that later. Well, let's move into aesthetics now. Everyone wants a beautiful looking bike. And here we have a gorgeous looking orange bike and over there behind you, a more neutral looking bike. Are these the, the colors we can expect from the standard Kanzo Fast? No, these two are actually from our Pure Line customization program and they are painted in the Pure Line XL design. Um, here at Ridley, we're really proud of the fact that we can customize and paint frames in all kinds of uh, designs and colors. Uh, and I like to bring attention to that now because it really is special to us. Um, the standard colors are a gray and a green, and you can find those on our website. Um, but I think it's much, much more interesting to go on the customizer yourself, um, choose one of the six designs that we have in any combination of the, the 42 different colors um, to create a bike that's, that's yours and that's completely unique. Couldn't agree more, Ben. And before we move on to the end of the presentation, are there any other features that perhaps we've overlooked? Um, there, there are one or two. Now, you'll see in the back here, hidden behind the chain stage, you've got a integrated mudguard mount system. And we've also, underneath the down tube here, added another wash bottle mount. OK, awesome. Well, thank you so much, Ben, for that in-depth explanation. I think we all now know the Kenzo Fast through and through. <laughs>